Hello again, this is Jim with Homestyle Southern Cooking and I'm bringing you another wonderful simple recipe tonight. This recipe I've been making for at least 40 years. Um, somebody made it for me for a Valentine's dish 40, at least 40 years ago and I've been making it ever since. My kids grew up on it and it's called Chicken Continental. I've started on this and I'm going to show you how to put it all together with this piece. You want to get four chicken breasts, nice chicken breasts, and you want to slice them in half. I'm fortunate here in Mexico that a lot of our chicken is already sliced all the way open because they fry it all the way open. So you want to make sure that you get your chicken breasts and you want to make sure that you open your chicken breast up like this, this one is. Then I've got some prosciutto ham, serrano ham, and I'm going to put some ham in the middle of it. Then I'm going to roll that ham up to a nice, nice little ball. Then I've just got some bacon, and I'm going to take the bacon, and I'm going to wrap the bacon around the chicken. I mean, how, how can you go wrong when you have ham, bacon, and chicken all together? I mean, come on, the, the flavors you have right there together are incredible. All right, let's put one more piece around this. What I do then is I put it in a casserole dish, and what I usually do is I put four or five pieces of bacon in my casserole dish to set these chicken on top of it. I've already done that ahead of time to save some time. And as you can see in the bottom here, I've got, I've got, the, I've got the bacon on the bottom, and I've got three three pieces, these three breasts that have already been wrapped. I'm going to add the fourth one in here and to the to the casserole dish then I'm going to set these two things aside for a second and wash my hands just a little bit here next we're going to make the sauce to go on top of it so I'm going to get my mixing bowl and tell you exactly what goes in here in my mixing bowl I've got eight ounces of sour cream. If you buy one of the little containers of sour cream like they have in, in the States, uh, that's all you need, the whole thing, okay? If not, I, take, I buy a big one down here and take out, I take out about, about a small container's worth, and that's what I did. This is just sour cream that I've got that I'm adding to here first. To the sour cream, I'm gonna add, now I'm gonna use mushrooms and chicken tonight. If you want to use just cream of chicken, you can do that. But I like the mushroom and the chicken together because it gives it an extra little bit of flavor. This is, a, like I said, condensed chicken and mushroom. Then to that, I want a fourth of cup, a fourth a cup of sweetened condensed milk. And now you think, oh, sweetened condensed milk, that's going to be awfully sweet to put into uh, a chicken dish. But it adds something that's really special. So I'm going to put that fourth a cup of sweetened condensed milk in my mixture. I'm going to take a little bit of pepper, put a little bit of pepper in there. I love pepper. I've got a little bit of salt. Put a little bit of salt in there. Now remember, you don't want to put too much salt because the ham and the bacon already have a lot of salt anyhow. Then I want to mix this all together. Like I said, this is another quick dish, and it's a dish that never disappoints, that everybody that tries it says, oh my goodness, we've got to have that recipe. So this, you need to try this one like you have the others. It's something that's really, really good, and it doesn't take but very little time to make. After do that, I'm going to take this, my sauce, and I'm just going to sort of pour it over top of the chicken. Now you have to realize this will get down in into the chicken, into the bottom, because when the soup melts, the whole bottom of this thing will be covered with sauce. And I might want to, want to cover some of this on the top of it. Let's make sure the whole top of it, each piece, is, has got some sauce on it. Okay. Make sure we get it all out of here. Let me set this over here. 
and a little piece that I dropped here. Okay, now this is ready to go in your oven. That's what it should look like. Um, so now we're going to put it in the oven. My oven has been heating at 350 for about 45 minutes to an hour. Uh, I'll just keep a watch on it. And when it looks ready, I'll come back and I'll show you the finished product. So now I'm going to put it in the oven. And I will see you really soon. Welcome back. It's been about, oh, I would say 55 minutes to an hour, and our chicken continental, I think, is ready. So I'm going to get it out the oven. Wow, does this look good, and boy, does it smell good. I don't know whether you can see that or not, but all the soup has bubbled up around it and the chicken, the bacon is crispy on the chicken. There are several ways of serving this. Uh, you can, sometimes I serve it with spinach noodles with tomatoes on the side or I'll slice this in little rollos and put it out there and put a rice dish behind it. But we're going to take one right now. We'll just take this one. Remember it's got bacon on the bottom too. We'll take this one out. And I'm going to slice this in half for you. Turn around this way so you can see it when I slice it. See that's beautiful inside? You see where the ham is and the chicken's all cooked and the bacon? It makes a beautiful dish on your plate for guests. And I'm going to let you in a little secret. I've never shared this recipe with anybody else before. You know we're on Facebook, and every time I go on Facebook and I see that somebody has, has liked something, or YouTube, I've got a new subscriber, I get really, really, really excited. So when you go on Facebook or you go to YouTube, uh, please hit the subscribe button. And I think the reason why I get so, ex so excited about it, because you, my friend, have done me the honor of letting me come into your home and cook with you and to me that's very special so I thank you for the opportunity every time you've looked at one of these you've tried one of these and you've posted online that you have taken the time to make it so the next time from Mexico I'll say adios which is goodbye I'll say take care of yourself my friend God bless and I'll see you soon